बस अपना पढ़ते गया एंड एग्जाम दे दिया तो आ गया एग्जाम ड्रॉइंग का सपना मैंने ऐसे नहीं देखा था पर हाँ ये जरूर था जो भी देना है अपना बेस्ट देना है मैं कभी अच्छा। सोच के नहीं रखा था कि रैंक टू आएगा मेरा मेरा मानना ये है कि सबसे ज्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट होता है कि आप अपना बेस्ट वर्जन बनो एक प्रॉपर बैलेंस और एक प्रॉपर शेड्यूल दैट इज द मोटो a very warm welcome dear students today we will start a new chapter sole proprietorship business this word sole means single so it is basically one man army so one man army will definitely have advantages and of course disadvantages so business we know business need lot of funds without funds how will you run a business so will one man have lot of fund no they will have limited fund will one single person manage all the various functions is it easy like accounts marketing production uh, transportation selling distribution so all these functions and more functions are to be managed by one person this one single guy so it's not going to be easy but if you are a doctor if you are a beautician okay so you do not need lot of funds you are a single person and you can serve so sole proprietorship is successful in case of in case of doctors right so if you are into a very small scale business small scale chhota sa kaam hai hamara so small scale business successful hai tailor i am a tailor okay so single person managing the show successful hai beauty parlors beauty parlors so that's also a great idea i sell jewelry artistic jewelry i do not need partners i am single capable let's say i am a dentist so i am happy being alone i am a stock broker so these are few examples where sole proprietorship function can be a great idea i am a chartered accountant i am a company secretary i am a lawyer i want to practice alone so sole proprietorship is great idea so come on dear students let's <coughs> dive deep now so can we rightly say when we talk about sole proprietorship can we say it is a one man business i have given you examples so it is a one man business can we also say it is simplest 
before joint stock company came this was a natural phenomenon so it is oldest it is most natural single person doing business later on maybe partnership later on it is the most natural way and of course these are all private sector sole proprietor it cannot be government okay because it cannot be partnership it cannot be joint stock so it is a private sector private entity one single guy so it is absolutely clear when we discuss sole proprietorship now we also know the business is owned financed and of course controlled dear students being you always should try to check these three parameters own financed and controlled in case of partnership it will be controlled by all the partners but here a single guy in case of partnership it will be funded by all the partners so owned by all the partners but here we are talking about one single person so it is all one single guy one single person i think it's quite clear now now this one single person can we call him head i'm just giving you few words which will fetch you marks individual yes we can now this head or individual what does this head do this head directs okay this head directs directs what what for any business we know operational efficiency is important we had discussed earlier so this head will direct the operations of the business operations means various functionalities so who is directing this one particular head is directing business will involve risk single person bears all the risks any doubt no doubt so is it advantage no it is disadvantage but sir 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 if the single person is bearing the risk he will get all the rewards also so when he is getting all the rewards it is advantage but all the risk we say it is disadvantage so risk of failure risk of failure single guy could not manage it failed business failed so risk is involved risk is involved in all the business so can we also say ki this single person is the manager this single person is the organizer these are the words you need to write to get marks so this man is the organizer this man is the manager this man brings all his money single person so single person brings all the money we call it capital so all is quite 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 clear sole proprietorship now coming to examination they will question you features of sole proprietorship so now you already know it is 
single ownership so single ownership so can we use this word wholly owned single ownership by single person so wholly owned so who supplies the capital capital by one person we are discussing point number 1 single ownership this capital can be his own capital own money or this capital the money will be borrowed so who will borrow this money this single person okay let's say mr a so mr a either will bring his own money or he will borrow money from his wife or friends or relatives and he will start the business he will start the business so when we say single ownership ownership means we already know own financed controlled so owned finance controlled by one person so the second point is a continuation the second point is one man control so one man control so points can be generated but this one man he can add number of employees so we already have discussed in chapter 1 about employer and employee relationship so you can add points from there as well now since a single man will the size of the business be big no generally it will be small size so small size no issues i will manage my own show i am a single person but small size would mean limited funds i am a single guy i have my limited money and i am doing my business all alone and since i am managing everything so i can also say limited managerial abilities so it's all limited now i want to start a business i can immediately start i am a single person immediately start so which means no legal formalities no form fill up no government fees no need of registration but a trade license can be needed and with this trade license you can open your bank account so you are a single person no legal entity in case of a joint stock company when you study it is a new legal entity so here when we say no legal entity it means the proprietor and the business they are same so if the business is making loss all the personal asset of proprietor so can be taken so this means unlimited liability so this is a very big risk 
very very huge risk in case of a joint stock company my friend business is separate owner is separate so loss in the business will not put an impact on the owner or the promoter of the business we will discuss this later in detail so when we say no legal entity we also mean that if the owner dies since we just said the owner and business they both are same so if the owner dies the business also dies if the owner becomes insolvent so the business also suffers the business suffers means the business is dissolved or shut down or closed why because owner has no money left so we just discussed unlimited liability so this is also a point a feature unlimited liability so the word which you need to write is personally liable personally liable for the losses of the business so feature would be no profit sharing i am a single person i will not share profit but i am taking complete risk so the reward also lies with me so i guess we have just covered all the seven features so i am just writing it once more for quick revision so it is single owner ship one man control no legal entity unlimited liability no profit sharing small size no legal formalities so these are the features now to continue we will discuss merits of sole proprietorship it's all connected interconnected so it is easy to start and dissolve dissolve means shut down or close so easy to start what do we mean by easy to start so when we say easy no expenditure on formation if you open a joint stock company lot of expenditures we will discuss it later no need of agreement with anyone no need of agreement easy to start because you are single kiske sath agreement karenge main akela hu only a simple trade license so this is simple to start right 
सो नो नीड ऑफ एनी सर्टिफिकेट ऑफ कमेंसमेंट फॉर बिजनेस दैट मीन्स वेन एवर यू स्टार्ट यू कैन स्टार्ट सो नो नीड ऑफ सर्टिफिकेट ऑफ कमेंसमेंट सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अंडर वन सिंपल पॉइंट ईजी टू स्टार्ट सो डिजॉल्व एट योर डिजायर डिजॉल्व द सोल प्रोपराइटरशिप बिजनेस एट योर ओन डिजायर आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू वर्क फाइन स्टॉप इट सो यू कैन स्टॉप वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट पॉइंट नंबर टू मोटिवेशन टू वर्क सिंस आई एम अ सिंगल पर्सन ऑल द मनी विल कम टू मी ऑल द प्रॉफिट्स विल कम टू मी सो वी यूज दिस डायरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप डायरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एफर्ट एंड रिवॉर्ड विच मीन्स मोर एफर्ट आई टेक मोर रिवॉर्ड आई गेट लेस एफर्ट आई टेक लेस रिवॉर्ड आई गेट सो दिस इज क्वाइट क्लियर सो देर इज ह्यूज इंसेंटिव बिकॉज आई एम नॉट शेयरिंग माई प्रॉफिट विथ एनी वन सो द इंसेंटिव इज क्वाइट हाई कि आई विल कीप ऑन वर्किंग एंड आई विल कीप ऑन गेटिंग माई प्रॉफिट्स सो बेसिकली टेक्निकली यू नीड टू राइट ओनरशिप एंड मैनेजमेंट सो ओनरशिप एंड मैनेजमेंट एंड प्रॉफिट्स एंड रिस्क एंड रिवॉर्ड्स ऑल लाइव विथ वन पर्सन बट नाउ यर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द रिवॉर्ड सो रिवॉर्ड इज हाई सो मोटिवेशन इज हाई सो मोटिवेशन इज हाई so i will use all my skill all my resources why because motivation is high what is this motivation single profit means no profit sharing so all will go to one single person now one more advantage is quick decision this is a huge merit you do not wait you are free you are not dependent on anyone you need not seek approval of other partners or you need not call any general meeting or board meeting which is necessary in case of companies and partnership so quick decision when we say quick decision it has a lot of utility quick decision will help you improve efficiency this efficiency factor is very important efficiency in business operations and this efficiency will help in reducing cost help in increasing profit so basically quick decision will also help you and cash any business opportunity 
lot of business opportunities are lost due to delay in decision making see if there is a partnership firm and all partners are absent or maybe some partners are absent so it is not easy to decide because every partner will say are humse nahi pucha so this will cause delay and you might lose the business opportunity so i think this is quite clear so point number 4 is independent control so i am a single guy i can take quick decision i am controlling the affairs so when we say independent control who has the authority the single sole proprietor has the authority who has the responsibility or who is responsible see i have the authority and i am responsible so we say authority and responsibility are vested these are the language in the same person you need to write the language otherwise you will not get the marks so authority responsibility one more thing supervision bhi main hi karunga i am having the authority i am responsible and i am supervising so basically too many things but this is how this sole proprietorship functions next point important point point number 5 secrecy of affairs if you are a joint stock company your profit and loss statement and balance sheet will be uploaded in government websites so any competitor can see but sole proprietorship it is completely secret complete secrecy no need of sharing your balance sheet so basically competition mein aapko kya milta hai competitive advantage personal touch by the promoter by the proprietor so he is in personal touch with his customers with his employees this personal touch creates healthy relationships which will help in good business why you can immediately get feedback from customer and immediately change you can get feedback also from employees and immediately change so basically you are quite alert in your business you can take quick action quick action of correction so this quick action can help us reach next point so basically we can say flexibility flexibility of operations so this is also a new point flexibility of operation so when we say flexibility flexibility itself means you know you can change you are ready to change so when we talk about change change can be expansion you are ready to expand if the opportunity is there or you are even ready to reduce so this flexibility is very important if the opportunity exist you expand if the risk is there you reduce so basically when to expand when to reduce how do you judge this 
you will see the changing market conditions so if the market condition is favorable what do you do my dear children i will expand i will produce more i will go into new markets but market condition is bad i will reduce i will shut down okay so next point would be economy see one single man is doing everything this guy is the owner this guy is the manager this guy is the controller so if one person is doing all the things so it is less costly so this means economy finally sole proprietorship business is good for social utility we are always pressing the government for jobs so basically this sole proprietorship is a system where you create the job yourself you are not dependent on government so basically it is a self employment system with self employment with limited money it's a great thing with limited money and at least uh, you are living an honorable life you say that i have something to do i am not jobless and once you start this once you start this you gain something you get the qualities of self reliance you rely on yourself you take the initiative to earn you become a responsible person so all these good qualities are desirable in a good society so society is becoming better and better because the people in the society are self reliant they taking is initiatives they are becoming responsible so now let's come to the demerits so of course demerits but again i would not say exactly demerits because if i am a tailor i am a doctor i am a beautician or be- i am owning a beauty parlor so i it suits me so whenever it is demerits i can easily convert it into partnership so but still let us explore where this form has its limitations so if i want huge money and i don't have so of course this is limitation so huge money i can get by involving more people but if i am having more people it can never be called sole sole means single so more people means it will be partnership form of business so till i am a single guy a single guy will have its limitations so that is what we need to study right now so if i am a single guy i have limitation so the limitation number 1 would be limited capital resources i am a single guy and it's understandable that my funds my personal funds would be limited and my borrowing capacity if i can take loan also how much loan can a single person get if a single person is getting 1 crore and we are partners and we are 10 partners so we can get 10 crore so of course single person will always have this limited capital resources now i am a single guy so i will also have limited managerial resources so these are very easy to formulate the answers so when we say single man limited managerial resources 
we also can say this man is not expert and it is not possible that he will be expert in each and every function of business business has lot of function so it is not possible so limited managerial capacity and fine let's say now he is a single man he can commit errors nobody to guide him the errors can be of errors of judgment i could not judge it properly so i did and it can be a situation where my decision making was my decision was unbalanced i lost my mind i lost my cool i made a very bad decision and huge loss was incurred in the business huge loss due to a wrong decision so can we also say such things are happening because there is acute absence of experts i am not an engineer i could not understand i am not from accounts background so i could not understand that i need to file the return in time otherwise government will put penalty in my business so all these things resulted in loss and since i am all alone i am facing lot of troubles next point we can discuss is a very serious point unlimited liability i think you already understood because you and the business they are same so this unlimited liability your personal assets can be snatched so in this situation you are very 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 cautious very 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 cautious in business we know ki in business if you do not take risk you do not get reward so you are cautious means trying to take less risk so less risk means less reward so now you are very cautious i can also say very very conservative but if you are cautious and conservative these are not not great signs for success in business so what should i do so i need to share the risk so if i want to share the risk i need to share the reward so i include partners so earlier if the loss was of 1 crore total loss will be borne by one single person but now we are five partners thank god i had taken four new partners so the loss is 20 lakhs each similarly if i was single and profit was 1 crore but now we are partners so 20 lakhs profit all five partners shared but you need to understand ki were you capable single handedly to do what you five partners could do it together so this is what you need to make a choice you need to understand ki whether single handedly are you capable of handling capable of handling the limitations of sole proprietorship business so one more thing uncertain life of your business uncertain life 
if something happens to you the business is also closed down point number 5 would be limited scope of expansion so we know why there is limited scope of expansion because limitation in finance limitation in managerial ability so of course limited scope and one more important point would be they cannot conduct large scale operations basically let's say example they are maximum they can manufacture is 10000 shirts but imagine a company let's say nike adidas they are manufacturing 10 crore shirts so if they are manufacturing in huge quantity they get a benefit of economies of scale scale means huge scale they have scaled up their business so same quality if i am a sole proprietor the cost for one t-shirt is 200 rupees but if i am manufacturing 10 crore the cost of t-shirt is coming to 80 rupees so this means economies economies means benefit whenever we use the word economy economy means benefit so benefit of large scale what do you mean a large scale a sole proprietor is manufacturing 10000 but when i am manufacturing 10 crore it is large scale production so large scale production will help me reach the cost to 80 rupees which the sole proprietor cannot achieve so dear students last is suitability of sole proprietor which we discussed in the beginning small scale retailers ca doctors beauty parlors jewelers stock brokers so all these guys they are very happy being a sole proprietor firm so with this we come to end of this chapter thank you love you bye